Talk, you, you've taken a couple of tough votes where you're the only no vote. And I remember the times uh, back on the Hill when Dr. Paul did that. And it was always kind of funny because uh, my, my colleague at the time, Jeff Deist, was the press secretary at the time. And inevitably, if he was the one no vote, the press would call like crazy. Why did you vote against yeah. it? Why did you vote against it? And Jeff always said, why don't you call the other guys and see why they voted for it? <laughs> you know? Congress critters do respond to public pressure. The problem is it's usually the lobbyists, the military industrial complex that has their attention once they're inside the beltway. But you can break through that membrane with a phone call. I don't recommend writing letters. They just pile up. They're answered with form letters. But when you make a phone call, a live person on my staff has to answer that phone call. And I typically only get five to seven phone calls a day out of 750,000 constituents. So on the Syrian issue in 2013, I started getting 100 phone calls a day for like seven or 10 days in a row. And this was, you remember, President Obama said, oh, Assad's cra crossed the red line and we need to go to war. We need to go to war now. But the reality is the phone calls started coming in. And when you get 700 phone calls against going to war and one for going to war, it's pretty clear you better start listening to your constituents. So what did they do? They pulled the bill from the floor. We never voted to go to war in Syria. It never happened. And it was solely because of the people that were making phone calls that we, don't, we didn't have boots on the ground in 2013 to now. now they